G'day everyone, it's Jeff here, and today I'm gonna to talk about the tripod head that I use for all of my real estate photography, which is the 410 Junior, a geared three-way head by Manfrotto. The geared three-way head is based on the three-way or pan tilt head design, with a notable addition of a gearing mechanism in each of the three axes of the head, which allows you to make both coarse and fine adjustments to each axis of movement. This improvement over the standard pan tilt head design means that you can very accurately adjust your camera to a level position faster and more consistently than any other head design and this is the head type I recommend most for real estate and architectural photography. The geared three-way head that I use has a very strong build construction and mechanism allowing for shooting at 90 degrees without an L bracket, even with heavy professional gear. It's more resistant to dust than a ball head. It's more compact than a pan tilt head with long handles. And you can also find brands of geared heads with Arca Swiss compatible plates. But even though the Manfrotto's, for example, have a proprietary camera plate, the camera plate is very large and allows for a really tight connection to your camera, allowing you to shoot at even 90 degrees without camera slippage. Geared head mechanisms can be tight, especially Manfrotto's. They do loosen up over time with use. They are not the cheapest heads and start for around $200 for a basic geared head, but the quality is equitable for the price you pay and compared to a ball head at the same price, it is very good value for money. So in summary, the Manfrotto 410 Junior is a head that I use every day and I definitely would recommend it to other real estate photographers out there. Now in saying that, I'm not saying that you can't use other heads, you should, certainly can. And when I started out, I used to use a pan tilt head and this is the one here, this is a Manfrotto pan tilt head a basic design. Now, I used to use this for a few years. The only issues you have with these, I guess, is that they're much harder, much fiddlier to get your levels right when you're working on site. Plus, they're a little bit bulkier with these longer handles on them. In saying that though, some of the modern pan tilt heads now have tensioning systems built into each of the axes. So they're a lot more like uh, these geared freeway heads, but even so, I would still use these geared freeway heads for the reasons I've already discussed. Also, you can buy other brands. There's a Benro makes a, a nice entry level geared head. And if you've got a lot of money, which isn't a problem to you, then you can always go out there and buy one of these super expensive ones like the Cube, which is upwards of a couple of grand US. And the only other issue I've had with my Manfrotto 410 Junior, which is a fairly common issue with these particular heads, is the fact that you get a little bit of movement, a little bit of free play in the mechanisms. And I don't know if we can actually demonstrate that here if you can see that movement there. But there is actually a little bit of free play and also in this mechanism, there's a tiny little bit of free play. And you have to be, no, you have to be careful of that. When you're shooting a job, you have to be mindful not to bump your camera too hard because it can, it could, if, it's, if your free play is say back like that, if you do bump the front of your camera and knock it down a little bit, you will actually uh, change the alignment of your photos afterwards and you'll have to align them in Photoshop. But I've never found this to be a big enough problem for me to consider buying a different head. I'm simply just careful with how I use it and I understand the problem that I can have with this little bit of free play. They also are quite tight when you first get them as I've already said and over time they do loosen up. Although I still find that when you're going to the extremities of motion with these mechanisms here, they actually do get quite hard to turn plus if you're going backwards so if you want to tilt your camera up you find that the mechanism soon runs into the top of your tripod here so you have to reverse your camera if you want to point fully upwards you just have to reverse the plate on your camera and put your camera on backwards so you can point it straight up but even with these few issues i still don't have a problem using this head or recommending it now again, you can get away with using other heads, even ball heads, and I have used ball heads on jobs as well. And some of the bigger ball heads can accommodate quite heavy gear, and with their tensioning systems, you know, you can, you can adjust them very finely with nice, strong tension on the ball. And lastly, I've also found that 
the geared freeway head, my particular one, the Manfrotto Floor Tan Junior, has really been a good head for landscape photography, believe it or not. Uh, when I'm shooting landscapes, I don't take my head off and put a ball head on, I just leave this head on. And you can get really fine adjustments with your landscapes as well. So it's not just a real estate or architectural photography head. This is a pretty good general purpose head. I've also even found when I'm shooting agent portraits, I use this head because I can get the, the camera to go 90 degrees quite easily and I can get a nice vertical portrait of my real estate agents, uh, even with a long lens attached to you know, my D810 and it holds it very firmly. It's a really strong support. So even for using it for agent portraits, uh, using it for the occasional landscapes, it works beautifully. So thank you again for watching. That about wraps everything up. If you've got any questions or comments about this tripod head, or even the tripod that I'm currently using, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I possibly can. But otherwise, thank you again and I'll see you in the next video.